Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for an exciting new video. If you are new to this channel, I'm your host MDT and I'm posting new videos around mastering dental technology every Friday. So make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get updated on the latest content. Today's topic is about designing a Crystal Ultra Hybrid all on 4Ks using the three shape workflow. For those of you who are not 100% familiar with what Crystal Ultra is, Crystal Ultra is a very unique material. It's a ceramic, it's a nano ceramic actually, that flexes with the movements of the mouth. So it acts as a shock absorber between the forces of the mouth and the implants, but also has the ability to flex, especially in the lower jaw. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you the entire digital flow from designing the bar and tri to designing the superstructure in Crystal Ultra. For your better understanding, I added some clips of the post-processing of Crystal Ultra in the trailer bar at the end of the video. So make sure you're going to watch it all the way to the end. It gives you a better insight of what you're designing here. This video contains a lot of information, so make sure you watch it a couple of times to have a better understanding of the entire process and all the settings I'm putting in. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome back. In the order form for the trial opera, I first select the T's I intend to place the abutments on. Then under the menu abutment, I select customize abutments. In this case, I used a desk scan body system for the multi-units. Under the bridge menu, select bar and then type choose rectangle. In this case, I have a pre-approved rec setup, which I'm using as a preparation scan. Do not forget to change the material to PMMM or packed in, in the material settings under abutment. I'm skipping the scan part here and go straight to the design, where I adjust the closer plane and select the annotation for the abutment sides by clicking on the red blinking dots. Once the bar has been populated, I click on a post, extend the settings menu and choose cylinder with shoulder under type. Do not forget to activate the minimum thickness map and make sure no red is showing through the post walls. I'm adjusting the shoulder margins to an equal gingival level. The occlusal I extend 1mm above the minimum thickness. Make the pre-preparation scan 40% visible and extend both distal ends of the bar 2mm away from the distal wall of the last tooth. You can add green dots by clicking on the green line to shape the bar according to the teeth arch. I'm trying to keep the green line in the center of the teeth. While holding shift, Select one of the green dots and pull the bar until it overlaps the lingual cast of the posterior teeth. Do the same for the buckle side. Then activate show occlusal plane and adjust the plane so it's half in the anterior contact area and in the upper third of the posterior region. Click on one of the green occlusal dots and select scale all to common plane. In case the bar is angulated wrong, it can be corrected with set insurgent direction. Click shift and pull the bar down until it completely intersects the tissue. If needed, some areas can be adjusted manually, for the curve of Spee or Wilson for example. Important is that the bar posts are completely covered with 2mm material thickness, since the bar usually fractures at these thin spots. Make the pre-preparation scan 100% visible and check for facial intersections by the bar. I carefully correct them by pulling the bar in until they are covered. Under bar settings, at ending, select wrap around and adjust the bar so it's 2mm away from the distal wall of the last tooth. The lingual side can be brought in slightly as well, but most of it is getting rounded or angled with a smoothing tool during the next steps. I'm smoothing the occlusal edges first and then prepare the basal side to be adapted to the gingival. I noticed when the intersections are too severe or the margins of the post are too deep inside the bar, three shape cannot properly cut the bar to the tissue. So you can use a minus or smoothing tool to dig out some of these margins. I have set the cut to gingival settings to 0mm, but it can be more or less depending on your tissue pressure preferences. Here 
I'm extending the bar slightly towards the buckle because the pre-up teeth are quite angulated. The clearance of the bar to the pre-up should be around 2mm on the facial and buckle as well as the lingo. So I'm using the minus and smoothing tool to adjust the bar. Also, interproximal the bar needs to be adjusted, especially in at thin areas like the sulcus or the margins. Smooth out the basal side and adjust the tissue pressure. Under attachment settings, select paramedic shapes, cylinder hole, view direction. Make only analog and screw visible and position the first side in view direction. Place the attachment in the center of the screw, adjust the diameter manually to 3mm and the height as low as possible, so it does not intersect with the occlusal side of the bar. These are our attachment anchors we use later. Do this for all implant sites and press a double arrow. The warning can be ignored. The extra drill hole is getting raised to 3mm. Avoid any adjustment of the bar in this step, since it will cause errors in the appending step. After the bar design is finished, model and bar design are two separate pieces. So right click on the bar order form and click on copy and append design to preparation scan, so the bar and model are merged. Notice that the holes were not copied. Right click on the new order and under advanced select export scan and name the file bar design. Create a new order form for the crystal altar part, choose only one tooth, set it to wax up under the frame menu and change the material to PMMA. Right click on the new order form, press import scan and select the bar design DCM as preparation scan. Select the position of the tooth on the bar so that the bar will turn blue. Tweet the margin of this one tooth to be the entire bar. Then the insertion direction must be set manually. In order to do so, a couple of error messages will pop up, but they all can be ignored by clicking OK. Position the bar in an occlusal view with no undercuts and click Set. Clear the margin line and with the pre up visible at 40%, draw the margin manually 1mm above the pre up border. It does not have to be perfect, but avoid any undercuts, since this will be the border of your crystal altar sleeve covering the bar. Undercuts will make it difficult to merge both parts. I suggest you pause the video here and write down the die interface settings like cement gap, extra cement grab and drill radius to assure an accurate fit of the crystal ultra sleeve to the bar. That will avoid fractures of the sleeves and unwanted adjustments of the trilog bar. In the wax overlay, deactivate and force wall thickness and set the parameters to wax sub offset 0 cut offset 1.8 mm, margin line offset 0.15 mm, that is your margin thickness of the sleeve, offset angle 55 degree, extension offset 0.15 mm. Follow the outline of the margins about 1.5 mm away of the pre-up margin and 2 mm from the pre-up margin on the lingual side. That defines the area getting copied and it should be similar as possible to the die interface area to avoid thick areas. Smooth the margins and bulky areas. Under attachments, select the same settings as before in the bar settings. Since the holes in the bar were not copied during the pending step, we now can use our abutment anchors to align the new cylinder holes by right clicking on the blinking red dot and choose align to primary attachment. Raise the diameter to 3mm and the height of the attachment so it's showing through the design. Once all attachments are placed, cut the holes in the sleeves at the same position as on the bar by clicking on the green double arrow. You can fine tune interproximal areas since those are getting adjusted in the post milling process anyway. Smooth out thick areas but avoid altering the sulcus or CJ to secure the teeth height and shape. Click no on the minimum thickness warning and close the design. You should now have two SDL files ready to be sent to your milling center, the crystal altar sleeve and the trilo bar. As promised, some short clips of post milling so you get a better understanding of what to take care of when designing those cases. At the lab, we are all working as a team and avoiding trouble and making it easier for the next person in line can make the difference between a good and a great team. Because in the end, we all will benefit from this, the patient, the doctor and you. Thank you very much for watching and if you made it all the way here, congratulations, you are really committed to up-leveling your knowledge and mastering of dental technology. 
If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and leave your feedback in the comment section. Maybe you're doing things a little bit different than I've shown in this video and I would like to hear more about it. Until then, stay tuned. Hey!